So welcome back carpers. No, it's not the winter campaign. Yes, we are fishing and uh, we're at a little local runs water trying to get a few bikes. I've forgotten what a carp is. Obviously you've seen the videos and the complaints I've been having for not catching fish. So it's not the winter campaign this video. Unfortunately, we are just trying to have a bit of fun and catch a couple of fish. The barrel's loaded. She's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Luke's is ready to go. But firstly, the van you've all given me loads of really good names um, to name her we need a majestic name obviously we've had a lot of suggestions I've decided on one I'll tell you what it is in a little while but while we're at the van look what I've done Ooh. posh racking and stuff like that looks awesome not really racking more hooks than anything but we're gonna get down to the peg that I've chosen I've had a walk around already when I get down there I'm gonna get set up get some rods in and once that's all done I'll touch base with you, let you know what's been happening the past couple of weeks. Um, oh, Happy New Year by the way. Hi. Um, let you know what's been happening in a couple of weeks, loads of big news, loads of things going on. So I'll fill you in all about that once we get to the peg. But I'm going to get myself down there and get some bait in the water first stop. So I will see you in about five seconds. So here we are then. We're all set up and ready to go. Uh, we are at Morton Fisheries aka Pex. Okay, so it's not the winter ticket campaign that we're doing on the river or wherever else we decide to fish. Uh, we're both pretty busy at the minute and I needed to catch something so I've come here. Quick update for you first before we get into the session today. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, if you're local to the area, you'll now know that I have a new job. I'm sales and marketing manager over at HF Angling, which is a local tackle shop to me. We haven't really got an online presence as yet when it comes to retail. Um, so it is mostly a local shop, so if you're local to me, Crew Area, Nantwich, Stoke-on-Trent, uh, Macclesfield, all those type of areas, then that's where I now work. We have a Facebook page, HF Angling, go over there, uh, give it a thumbs up, keep in touch with me that way as well, there's going to be loads of content coming through. Now, impact-wise on this channel, it's going to have none negative anyway, that's for certain. Uh, this channel will keep on going as it does, it's not going to be influenced as such in any way by my job. There's going to be a bit of a crossover of media and videos and things like that so I'm going to be doing some videos for the Tackle Shop which are going to be on the HF Angling Facebook page. If they have any uh, if they have any relevance or resemblance at all to this channel it'll go on this channel too so they'll be uploaded to both things like rig videos, um, session videos and things will be uploaded to both HF Angling's page and then this YouTube channel as well. All the usual vlogs and things for this channel are going to carry on. It'll have a bit of a positive impact for us from the point of view that the Carpinians are going to be coming back in full force as they've been a little bit quiet recently. I'm filming one today which will go up on the HF Angling page and this YouTube channel and then onwards with the Carpinians we're doing loads more because obviously I've got access to all new tackle coming through, existing tackle and things like that so I'm going to be doing reviews for HF Angling, obviously, and I'll tie them in with this channel too. They'll still be impartial. Obviously, I now have a point of reference, so if you want them and you're local, you know where to get them from. That's going to be the only relevance. That's about it from that point of view. Um, if you have any questions regarding anything, obviously, you can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, or the HF Angling Facebook page or Instagram as well now. You can get in touch with me any of those ways. If you are local to the crew, Nantwich area, anywhere, um, around there whatsoever stoke on trent etc pop in to see me have a brew with us we're having a refit at the moment loads more stock coming in um, we're going to have an open day as well which is not confirmed date wise yet but it's probably going to be mid-march something like that where we're going to have some uh, manufacturers down have some big offers on have a bit of a laugh have a bit of a chat and probably video it at the same time so i'll keep you updated on that now onto this session let's get past all the boring stuff onto this session we're at Morton Fisheries, aka Pex, as I've already said. It's the place where I taught Lucas how to fish. Uh, we come down here, have a bit of fun. It's a nice little water. There's a special, well, there's the main lake and a couple of other lakes as well with some sort of match fishing and one that's got some catfish in. Also, I fish the main lake here. I haven't fished any of the other ones. Um, I fish the main lake. It's got a good head of carp in it. They're mostly mid double, something like that. Loads of ghosties and interesting fish to go along with it. I've got two rods out, uh, they're both on my little multi-hinge rigs, both with the white pimped krill pop-ups on, 
and I'm fishing over a bed of let me get some point for my brew down. I'm not even taking a sip of my brew yet. Fishing over a bed of some baits that Chris and I boosted at HF over the past couple of days. We put a post up on Facebook. Shameless plug again. Here we go. The, the Supreme Marine, so it's HF Anglin's own bait. You know I use the um, Northern Plum, which is the HF Anglin's own bait as well. I've been using that, but I've switched over to the um, Supreme Marine to give that a shot. This is it here. 15s, you can't see it very well. So this is it here, you can't see it too well at all. But that's it, the 15s, I've then given them the heat treatment so they were freeze baits. I've poured boiling hot water in, covered them by a centimetre or so for about 20 minutes. And then I've emptied most of the water out, poured in an entire bottle of the one of the new liquids that HF is doing, which is the liver liquid, pre-digested liver extract. It's minging. It kel it smells like cat poo. I was gonna swear then. It smells like cat poo. It's horrible. So I put an entire bottle of that in, swirled it all around, and then I've been shaking that and I left that apart from shaking it for 24 hours whilst I was at work. Um, and then once that's done I've then poured over a little bit of krill active uh, krill powder we had left over from doing some maggots so I'll put a little bit of that in there's only about 200 grams of that in there though and about half a kilo of the matching stick mix for the boilies I've poured that over and then shaken it up and then kept on shaking it for the rest of yesterday afternoon shaking it every half an hour or so and it's coated them amazingly and they smell fantastic as well they've softened down quite well because of the heat treatment and the liquid that's gone in there they've been free freezer baits anyway so they'll be really easy to digest but they've got so much added attraction i'll stick a little clip of a time lapse i did of it going in a jar at work as well yesterday so you can see it see how it looks um but that's what i'm using as, a, as the free offerings i put my marker float out and another beep i put my marker float out and then put out about half a, not, no not quite half a kilo over quite a big area around a marker float then I've put my two white pop-ups straight out either side of the marker float um, just on the leading edge of the bait so not to get any line bites or spook fish over the bait. I've got my GoPro sat down by my rods down there I've already had one take I lifted the rod up into nothing I didn't, couldn't feel anything anyway um, Bobby lifted right up to the blank I think I lifted the rod up a bit too early, if I'm honest, but I was a bit excited. I haven't caught a fish for a while. Um, that wasn't there, and then I've recast that rod. Now as I was setting it back up on the alarm, the left-hand rod had a bit of a weird occurrence on it. I'm not quite sure what happened because I was looking at the other rod. Um, but I'll obviously you can see the GoPro footage now, and I'll watch it back to see what happened. I'm not sure if it was a line bite or what was going on. So I'm feeling quite confident. Should be quite a good session. It's not the best weather really the pressure was perfect all week and then the pressure's jumped straight back up again and it's creeping up all day to about 1018 something like that which isn't the best it was great earlier in the week temperature wise low single figures something like that semi clear skies you can see behind me bit of cloud cover the sun is out though no rain forecast not the best weather but not the worst either i suppose so I'm going to crack on. I've got another video to do on the car pinion as well, so I've got to get that going. So, so that's about it for now. I'm not going to have too much lovely B-roll on this one, I don't think. It's going to be more of a proper vlog this time, um, as I've got quite a bit of work to do with the other one. So I'm going to get as much in as I can do, hopefully get a few fish, because I don't know about you watching my videos, but whenever I edit them now, I'm like, I need a damn fish. So hopefully this is the one. Well, I don't care how big it is, as long as it's a carp, not a bream, I will take anything. As long as there's one of them, at least. I'd like a couple. We're all greedy, aren't we? So that's it for now. Keep watching, because hopefully we'll get one of those little silt pigs on the line soon. Oh, oh my god, that's <laughs>
There we go then. Lucas has got the first fish. How do you feel, mate? Alright. How was it? Heavy. Yes, it isn't it? Oh. <laughs> How much did you weigh? Uh, 70 pounds, 10 ounces. That's the one, 17 pounds, 10 ounces. <laughs> Told you you got the first car of the year. Oh, oh but right, a little struggle on his little five foot rod. <sighs> right, we're going to get him back in. Yeah. Quick picture first. Yeah. So hello and welcome back. I think you might be able to tell we're not in the same session right now, partly because of the light and secondly because of this. I'm not too happy about that, so the least we say about that, the better, in my opinion. Um, we're actually on a different session, as I've just said. Um, last weekend we were down at Morton. We're back down here again. Last weekend I didn't catch anything, but lad had a 17 pound, 10 ounce carp. Just turn off the stove a second which was a wicked fish and our first fish of the year. Bear with me, I'm trying to multitask, it doesn't work too well. There we go. Um, so yeah, he had a wicked fish off his rod, I didn't have anything. Had a couple of strange occurrences, bobbins hitting the blank, quite savage liners and things like that, so I think I was fishing past them and I couldn't find them after that at all. So I blanked again. Um, so we're back down the following weekend, back at Morton again, we're one peg up from where we were last time, fishing same sort of water, uh, but we moved over a little bit as a match on tomorrow so we can't fish half a lake. Um, it's now, what time is it, what time is it buddy? It's half past four, we got here at about two o'clock, um, in time some new rigs and things like that. Uh, we've got some new bits that I'm giving a try. I'm rigs wise I'm using two hybrid tackle spinner rigs out the spinner rig pack with two little 12 mil um, sticky these ones the signature squid little 12 millers on which don't need any putty to keep them down but then I'm trying this new camo splice stuff yeah. Giving that a try, spliceable um, braided hook link seems quite nice. Um, obviously, I normally use Conda from Hybrid Tackle for anything that I do, but it's a coated braid, and I just thought I'd give that a bit of a try, see what it's like. So, that's the rigs I've got out. I've got both out with a few baits, and uh, I've got some of those special loose feed baits from last time that are out with one, and then the other one has got a little PVA bag hooked on uh, with some 10mm Northern Plum in it and a couple of pieces of rig foam just to keep it off the bottom a bit like a parachute rig in a way so that's what i'm doing lad's got his run out again as well and i'm just about to make myself a brew now i've come to a slight predicament as my amazing carpy brew mug with great beard comes great responsibility it doesn't work anymore does it it doesn't actually look that bad in the camera but there we go it's coming back though, so don't worry about that. It was, it was one of those weak moments that we have. It's coming back. I think the lake's been fishing really slow. I've had a walk around, pardon me, spoke to a few people. No one's had anything. There were people on last night, didn't have a bite of anything. Not a nibble, not a beep, not a nothing. Not a nothing. So it's not looking too promising really. The weather looked really good earlier on. It's gone bitterly cold now, the really cold wind coming in. Um, blowing straight into my face as well, so you're probably picking up the microphone quite heavily, so I apologise about that. 100% committed this session, I'm going to stay up, I'm going to keep on flicking rods out, I'm going to try and catch something, anything, take it, I'll take a breathe today, I will take a breathe, anything at all. So yeah, stay tuned, let's see what happens.
so. Spent another night camping last night. Um, enjoyed some bacon sandwiches for me dinner. Good night's sleep. I woke up this morning to go home. May as well just go Wales camping really. Um, take half the gear with me and just set up somewhere nice and just relax. No fish. Tried loads of different tactics last night. Even tried PVA bags. Tried loads of stuff. Nothing. Not a nothing. It's getting a bit boring now, isn't it? Well, it's morning. It's now about half past eight. So I've started to pack up. Need to be off here by about nine, ten past nine, something like that. So I need to get going. I think I'm going to have a slight issue though as my journey out of here past the lake to my van is blocked by a load of bivvies. So that's going to be a fun way to try and get out in a minute. But I'm going to reel my rods in and I've had my morning brew, get all my little bit sorted and get off home. I thought I'd compile these two little videos into one um, because firstly I hadn't edited the first video yet, sort of makes sense. And secondly I wanted to try and get some fish into a video for you that I physically caught, not Lucas. Lucky little sod. So, hasn't happened. Must try harder. We don't know how. It's the winter. Don't know what to do. I think we were limited this week by the far bank being cut off from carp angles because of the match on today. Even though the match angles aren't even here yet, I could have fished there. <laughs> um, but I think that's limited it, so we were right in the face of the cold wind. Like we couldn't get on the back of it. That might have had something to do with it. I don't think anyone's caught up and done up and down this bank last night at all. So it's time for me to sign out, get home. Thanks for watching and staying this long if you have done. If you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do because that moment when I do finally catch a fish is going to go viral. And it will come soon, I'm sure. But thank you all for watching again. I'll see you next time.